What is going on guys? This is EK1 Gaming here and today's video we're going to be talking about some Watch Dogs Legion news. Now before we get into the video we are doing a giveaway and we are giving away some Watch Dogs credits. So if you want to enter that giveaway be sure to join our Discord server. Also hit a like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you feel about these announcements. On top of that, we would be very grateful if you wanted to support this channel by clicking the subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified every time we upload content. Now let's get straight into the video and basically, you know, we're bringing you the bad news, okay? You've probably already heard and if you haven't already heard, then the bad news is Watch Dogs Legion Online is now delayed. Now this will be delayed until early 2021. Now, although I was initially really annoyed by this, we do have to kind of understand their motive behind the delay and their reasoning behind it. So basically what they've said is it's a stability issues that they haven't been able to fix as of yet. So it would be unfair to release this while having so many issues in the base game already. Now, many of us just like me will, of course, be at a stage in the game now where there is a serious lack of content. So I'm talking the fact that, in my opinion, from the start, there was never enough story mode, there was never enough content within the game, even to last until the December launch of online. And I even took my time completing it so it would fall in line with the new on online update. Meaning that I kind of didn't play it every day, I kind of slowed down. But for people that play this every day, there have been a lack of content already for the last probably two or three weeks, because there just wasn't enough in the base game. Now the fear of course now is that people will not return to the game and with big games releasing especially in 2021 you know p potentially cyberpunk is going to be releasing outriders is going to be coming out so I feel this will have a negative effect on the player base and the number of players that will actually return to this game. Now, in true, in true Ubisoft fashion, they pretty much done the same to every other game. It's lacked content, it was buggy, had many issues that they didn't know how to fix, even from launch. Now, me personally, I have not come across any bugs and glitches in the game, or bugs and glitches in terms of... Um, it being unplayable or crashing or anything like that. I've not actually had any of that. I play on PC I've had some UI glitches that have happened, but nothing game changing And I appreciate that there are a lot of players out there that are having big big issues Even logging into the game or even being able to play the game at all So Watch Dogs did of course put out an explanation on their website, but I am yet to see this on their social channels. Uh, maybe they're avoiding the backlash from the community. Maybe they don't want to put it out on their socials because they know it'll be flooded with hate and, and horrible comments. I don't know the reasoning behind that, but it is all on their website. So on a brighter light, they're of course working on some fixes in the game. Let's look at the, the bright side of this. Um, and they're going to start with a patch, which is 2.20, which is being implemented sometime this week. We haven't got an exact date as of today. Now, this is being implemented on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Of course, that covers PS5 and the brand new Xbox as well. And they're going to fix a number of issues. Now, some of those issues are global. Some are just relating to Xbox. Some are just relating to PS4, PS5, etc. So, a couple of those things are they're fixing an issue that could cause save games to be corrupt. Now that's a global issue that was happening on all platforms. They're also fixing an Xbox issue uh, that could cause the game to crash when scrolling through the team tab. They fixed their frame rate issues on PC or they, I say they fixed but this is what's planned to be done so don't take this as that is fixed. Let's just see when they actually bring out the patch. Now PS5 they stopped the game from crashing apparently and PS4 again game crashes as well. Now they are there is a full list of the patch notes which I'm going to link in the description below so you guys can all read through every patch note that's there, every fix for different consoles or different platforms. Um, I'm not, not, not going to read them all off on this video because that would take way too long. So basically, um, you know, on top of that, you know, they, they're encouraging people to, to, to log files or log tickets with the support. So I do encourage that as well if you've got an issue that's not on the patch notes they don't need you to keep telling them the same things over and over but if there's something that's not on those patch notes it's definitely worth filing a ticket now ubisoft support are not the most you know um, responsive support station however watchdogs do seem to be listening slightly to these reports 
and it does seem to have an impact on what they're doing in the patch notes and what they have on their state of the game. So, in my opinion, yeah, it's a shame that we won't be getting online in December as stated, but honestly, it could kind of be a blessing in disguise. Now, at least they're trying to fix issues in the game, rather than, you know, just overcrowd it with, you know, different content and not actually fixing the base issues. If we look back at the Division 2, and I know I keep referring to Division 2 when it comes to Ubisoft, because I feel like that is one of the most, um, you know, neglected games or the most um, buggy games probably out there right now f through Ubisoft. Um, if we look back at Division 2, what they do is they don't fix the base um, issues. So what they've done is they've built a game which had issues from the very start of the, of the launch that are still in the game now two years later. However, they keep putting content on top of each, uh, of each patch. They don't fix the base issues. So when they bring new content out, they launch that on top of the issues and actually they end up causing more issues like a domino effect. So the new patch that comes out is actually already broken before it's come out. Now, it sounds kind of complicated and it probably is from a developer or from a kind of studio side of things. I don't know about fixing games and creating games and stuff like that but i do know that any successful business would start from the bottom and go up so fix the base issues before adding more content before actually having you know more issues on top of those issues so at least watchdogs the studio that are dealing with watchdogs are attempting to do that and i'm going to say attempting because I honestly don't know what the outcome is going to be. We don't know if they're going to be fixed or they're just saying the right things on their website. I don't know, but let's uh, I suppose we keep an eye out on that update and just see what happens, see if those fixes are fixed or not. It does seem like that Ubisoft have an issue with PlayStation because the blue screen issue actually happens on Division as well. Um, and, and a few other games from Ubisoft that I've played on PlayStation have all blue screened at some points as well. So maybe there's just an issue there with Ubisoft and PlayStation. I don't know. But hey, that could be something that's uh, happening in the background. So basically, you know, that that's going to be the end of this video. I'm sorry if you didn't know about this and I'm bringing you the bad news because really I did not want to bring you this news. I honestly was looking forward to online so much. I've even like not played this game for a few days so I could get like get up to date on all my other games like Destiny and Division so I could come back to online and really commit a lot of time. We will be covering the online when it comes out. We'll be covering all the new updates and all the new content on Watch Dogs. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you've not already subscribed. Make sure you hit the little notification bell because you'll get notified when I live stream Watch Dogs. Also go ahead, follow me on Twitch. It's twitch.tv forward slash ek1gaming. And... I'll see you all in the next video. Let's go!